Since we're creating functional 3D models, the models we create live in and have to interact with the real world, so their sizes in relation to real world objects matter. In CAD, when we set the size of things, we call that dimensioning or setting their dimensions. You've already heard me use that word and there will be a lot more of it coming. I just want to make sure you're familiar with the term. So the most common type of dimension is the linear dimension, which is typically a distance. So for example, the thickness or length of an object, the width of a slot, or the depth of a hole. On this slide here, uh, we have a couple examples of dimensions. So on this first box here, we have two line segments in orange and each of the line segments is connecting two dots. And you can see the dimension symbol, one in gray and one in black. And this is how you'll see it in Onshape as well. And so both of these line segments are 0 0.2 inches. So the length of the line segment is 0 0.2 inches. You could also say that not the length of the line segment, but the distance between the two points is 0 0.2 inches. Next here, we have a triangle and each of the three sides of the triangle is dimensioned. And you can see that they're all 0 0.2 inches. So basically it's a equilateral triangle since all three sides are equal. And then finally here, we have three circles and we're gonna cover this in the next slide, but when we're talking about circles and dimensioning circles, circles are measured by the distance across the circle. And this dimension, the distance across the circle, is actually called, it's a special dimension, and it's called a diameter. So the distance across the circle. So when we deal with round objects, we use the term diameter to refer to a round object's size. An outer diameter, as the name implies, refers to the outside diameter of a round object. In some cases, an object or feature can also have an inside diameter, which refers to the internal diameter dimension of the object. So here in the top left, first we have a circle, and the distance across the circle is 2 inches, and you can see that the fact that this is a diameter, there is actually this diameter symbol that defines this dimension as a diameter. And then likewise, so we had the circle that's two-dimensional, but then we also have a cylinder that's three-dimensional, and the distance across the cylinder is also its diameter. And then we mentioned inner and outer diameters, so basically if you have an outer diameter that's the distance of the outside of the circle, and if we have an inner diameter that's the inner distance across the inner diameter of the circle. And then we can also use diameters to refer to holes. So if we have a plate with a hole through it, we can refer to the size of that hole as the diameter of that hole. Radius is another type of dimension associated with circles. We've talked about diameter. Well, radius is defined as half of the diameter. So that would be the diameter over two, or the diameter divided by two. So a circle with a diameter of one inch will have a radius of half an inch, or 0 0.5 inches. In CAD, radius is mostly used, not always, but mostly used to define the size of a fillet. We haven't encountered fillets yet in this course, but definitely will. Whenever we have a sharp corner that we want to round off, we use a radius to accomplish that. So if I have some sharp corners like this, and I want to round it off, I can apply a radius to make it round. The corner that's rounded, you can actually imagine a circle overlaid on it and see why using the radius dimension, which is half the diameter, makes sense here. Again, we'll encounter radiuses and fillets later on, but just wanted to mention it now. 